Okay, next up is going to be the legs of the Zoart and Zoart Heavy. This is actually from the Zoart Heavy because the actual Zoart legs are the same. The only difference is, is a different color tone. I'll talk to you later. So let's prepare this. We have these two parts here. Make sure that you put in the right one so it actually turns in a 90 degree angle, this port right here, and then up to there. You may get confused with one other part, so be careful. And put that through here, this part, and this part here. Next, you take this detail part, put it through there. Or is it there? No, it's there. There we go. And this one goes here, covering this part, like that. And then you have this part here. Alright, so that part is done. Then we take this. Whoops. We take this part here. Connect it to there. Now you have these two parts here. This is the connection to the to the foot. Put that little notch there, and then push it like this so it looks like that. And then, oh, then you take this, put this right here. It's all cover. And then you slide it through here. So it looks like that. Now the last part is going to be the foot part. I'm going to put this like so. So that this hole is facing this way and that's facing the other way. Put on the back heel. And then you put this one on to connect to the foot. Followed by this connection here. And then the ankle armor, you have to make sure that this section is up on top like that. Then you just connect that through here. And then I believe you connect this one like that. Perfect. There you go. Both left and right feet for the Zoart Heavy, and left and right feet, foot or legs, for the standard Zoart. As you can see, they're both the same. They're both. There's nothing different about them other than the color tone. But clearly, this one will utilize these peg holes here for the detail, extra detail parts that we will assemble later on. But that's how it is. I didn't want to. Put all these parts of all these legs doing it at the same time but just one should be enough all right let us move on to the next part of the build so the next part is going to be the waist unit of the zoward and zoward heavy as you can see both of them are the same so i will do both of them right now very few parts we have these two parts here go like that followed by this part here that locks into the place and then this detail part that goes there and then the front crotch area followed by the blue trim them and then we just repeat the same thing here on this side the only difference is it's a it's the um, green color You would think that the Zoward Heavy, even though it has uh, heavy armaments, it would have more armor plating on the waist unit and on the uh, on the legs. But it's basically the same 
design features and concept. But there you go. That completes the waste unit. Let's move on to the next part. So the next part of the build, or the final part of the build, is going to be the weaponry of both the Zoward and Zoward Custom. Now for the Zo Zoward Heavy, sorry. First up, I take this part, put this right there. So it looks like that. You put that right here over this. Then you put this cover over there. And then the um, clip. Which, quite frankly, doesn't matter which way you put it, I guess. Oh, I see the. Uh, the detail lines. Alright, there we go. That's a little loose, so you may want to glue that. But that's the beam the beam gun. The beam gun. But the same but when you go to this kit and you build the gun again, same parts but there's add-ons, which we're gonna put on right now. So I'm gonna take this, put that here, followed by this. Then we have this part that goes there, the clip, I believe goes here, whoops, again, we may have to look into gluing it, hold on, there we go, and then you have this attachment here, which is kind of neat, put down there, so it's an extended barrel, I like this, very neat, now for the weapon packs, oh, so you have these parts here, which is basically, uh, I guess, clips, um, more clips to put on this kit, but if I see this right, I'm going to have to do that, no, Okay, hold on a second. That's that. And that's this. There we go. And then you have this part here. I think this is from the gun. And you put this here. That is weird. Wow, that doesn't make any sense at all. If I'm looking at the instructions right, I believe putting this part here is like an extra, like something to pull out. It maybe maybe it clips inside that comes out and then you put it in here, so it simulates that. I guess, I guess after watch the episode again to understand this, but why do you have an extra one of these and where the hell you put it? I mean, if I take this off... Come on. Then you put this here, then it makes sense for these two. Because that goes, that goes in, the, in the leg parts. So what is this for? Alright, so that's that. We don't have to worry about that. Now, first, this, these two parts, connect that. Followed by this one here. This one there. So the other way around. Right. 
and then so these can be like this to expose the missiles so it's like that or you can flip them and close them they're not true uh, open and close you just have to pop them out and put them back in again I think I'd rather only keep it like that you know it looks good this way and then you have an attachment here it could go either or it doesn't matter put this one here for now then we have the beam cannon these two go here this one goes there this one goes like that then you have this part that goes there there we go so weaponry for the Zoar heavy is complete and the standard Zoar let's put it together and see how it looks okay here are both the kits fully put together let's of course put them together and see how they look we'll go begin with the standard Zoart put this on right here and then we put the legs by the arms I might as well take the hand off because I need to take this off well no I don't have to do that I forgot you can do that but we already did that we'll do it over there Close that there. Put that here. And then we put the head. And there you go. It'd be nice if it had open hands, but I guess maybe they didn't think about that at the time. Here we go. Alright, so let me just get the, the legs in the appropriate position, and there we go. Wow, that is actually a really neat looking kit. Now we do the heavy, which is de technically the same thing. this angle properly I'm gonna put that here like so then both left and right arms this on without removing that. Let's see. Oh, not that. That. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah. Look at that. Didn't realize that. But it's good to know. Then we put this on. One goes here. And the other one goes there. And then we have the missile launcher goes on the left. Okay. Main heavy beam cannon goes on the right. And then the head. And there you go. Oops.
I have a feeling I gotta I gotta take that out because I think that was pushing too much. There we go. Interesting. This one. This may be a bit of a problem, but not too much though. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, this is nice. And yes, I know if I had the the tick belong, hold on, I gotta adjust the camera. Um, it would be nice. I'm, I'm not gonna get another, another tick belong. One's fine, and I'm gonna kick bash that one also in the future. But this one looks really neat. Oh yeah, I'm getting some armored cord vibes here. Hmm. Really nice. I mean, okay, this one is pretty much set in stone. You know, you like the, you have this, and you also have. You open up the possibility, because you also have a hard point here. Obviously, this, this is a hard point there, which, quite frankly, I don't think you need one. But maybe you can put something on. There's no hard point here, but the guns are universal, so it doesn't matter where you put this. You can put this on the left, on the right, it doesn't matter. It's a shame that it cannot be put on the shoulders, but then again, yeah, because it's, it's a, you have a male peg there, this is a female peg. The female peg would be great if it had an extra armored port, port for something, uh, or, you know, something to put on, not an armored port, more like a, an option part, whether it's another weapon, whether it's a piece of... Uh, uh, shield or detail, you know, but still, it's amazing looking how the uh, Zord Heavy came out. I really, really like it. I made the mistake on this. I I accidentally cut the nub, the, the little peg here, which is meant for the for this. I was gonna glue it on, but then I'm gonna paint it, so I'm going to keep that separate. And then when it's painted, I'll glue it on. I don't know what this is for. I guess this is for an extra the simulation of the. You know, and I, let me let me check the box because usually you'll see that detail in the box. So I'm not just to stand because I didn't see it in the manual. Let me double check again. Okay, those two parts you put together and you put the clip there. And I believe it's an option. Which, quite frankly, does not make sense at all. Okay, so here it is. Um, let me just move you guys back here. Here it is, right here. The long beam gun, interchangeable battery magazine can be stored in a magazine rack so you have flat magazine racks but then you have an extended one so that way this can pop out to simulate the gun the um, the magazine rack coming out neat you know that's very neat but then that would be neat if it had an extra magazine unfortunately you do not get an extra magazine for this so this is just basically a waste of a pe of, of a part. Can I put it on this guy? Nope. Absolutely not. So we'll put that in the scrap yard <laughs> or in the parts yard. Uh, but yeah. Oh man. Listen, Gundam Planet has both of these cats. Hopefully they still do. And if they don't, they'll definitely get in a, a restock later on. But yeah. Both of these are amazing looking kits. I like them. I like him the way it is. Doesn't need to be touched.
but you on the other hand. You. I am going to take you apart and mess you up because I want to turn you into basically a raven. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's called a raven or a the the mechs in the Armored Core game. I, I don't know who's planning to get Armored Core 6. I am, of course. But I want to turn this into an Armored Core. Because it does look like that one. Um, but what am I going to do with it? Well, give me a moment and we'll talk about that.